Hi, Jacob Klinger, your Steelers beat reporter, PennLive.com. It doesn't feel like it's been three weeks since the Steelers season ended, but it has. Uh, and as they continue to mosey on through the offseason, uh, they're cleaning up just a few items in terms of how they form their 90-man roster for the offseason. They re-signed tight end Javier Grimble uh, to a one-year contract. Uh, it was first reported by TribLive.com. His agent confirmed as much to uh, PennLive. Grimble only caught uh, 11 catches for 118 yards and two touchdowns this year. Only played in 13 games. Had a leg bruise, had a cracked ribs at the end of the season, and you know, frankly wasn't a huge part of the team's offense. But when I hear about Javier Grimble and I think about Javier Grimble, I always come back to this um, instance that happened in training camp uh, up in Latrobe. They were just doing like a, a tight ends versus linebackers type drill. And I distinctly remember Mike Tomlin shouting at Grimble, you're too talented not to be dominating this drill. And that's largely played out even throughout the season and practices. Uh, Grimble was actually an undrafted rookie free agent guy out of USC. They didn't use the tight ends a lot. Um, and he came into the league in 2014. The 2016 Steelers roster was the first 53 man he ever made. He bounced around from the Giants, the 49ers, uh, the Patriots, I think, for like a week or two. Um, and finally was on the Steelers practice squad in the 2015 season. Finally made the team in, in 2016. Uh, and actually, the two catches he made were pretty key. Uh, one against the Cincinnati Bengals in week two, and another one was the opening score for the Steelers in the division clinching win over the Baltimore Ravens. And he really is the only downfield threat that they have that isn't facing a postseason you know, health valuation in terms of in the way that Ladarius Green is. He's much more mobile and athletic than Jesse James is. Uh, he's much less limited in terms of strictly being a blocking tight end in the way that David Johnson often was. The Steelers will probably look for outside help at tight end if Ladarius Green can't come back and, and be something resembling what he was at different points uh, during the season. But if not, Ladarius Green is, is reasonable cover. Um, has all the build to actually do what he needs to do. His hands have let him down a couple times, uh, but he was the only real piece of business that the Steelers handled this week, and um, expect that his deal was probably close to the minimum for a guy with one year of experience, which would have been about $540,000. So whatever he's doing is not costing the Steelers too terribly much against the salary cap.